Oh Look at my this. gosh, he just went Your mid. favorite spot! Oh, Whenever see you later, give up buddy. The middle. Weak block, but then Kyle Busch here. Oh! Hey, it's Parker and Landon. You might know us from the Money Lap podcast. Uh, as two professional drivers, we thought we'd try something a little different here on YouTube. We're going to watch some of the biggest and best moments in all of motorsports from our point of view and maybe see some things that you haven't seen in these awesome moments. Starting with the 2007 Daytona 500 on board with Kevin Harvick coming down to 10 laps to go. We're going to hop on board, Landon, uh, and point out some things. Hopefully good stuff, I'm, I'm hoping. All good stuff. This is, I feel like I remember watching this live. So, they're all around. They're all around. First of all, single file restarts. Oh yeah, that's right. I haven't had oh that in a gosh. long time. Oh, I used to stick it right on the wall and try to snooker someone by getting beside them at some of the mile and a halfs. I love that. <laughs> One of my first NASCAR races, Jamie McMurray passed like 15 cars on the outside on a single file restart. I was like, oh, you can do that. Oh, no way. Uh, the other thing that sticks out, how long it takes to get up to speed. With like 450 yeah. horsepower at the time, these cars took forever. Like right now, you're still not at full speed. We're heading towards turn three. No, it would take a full lap and a half. The draft helps a lot. but Yeah. Also, losing the draft like this, like how far he's falling behind. I think that's Mike Wallace in the, is that Finch's car, Mikasuki car ever. Yeah, um, big Mo coming here. Yeah, here comes the Big Mo. Also, the flash bulbs. Look at all the flash bulbs. Isn't that awesome? It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> These cars have uh, quite a bubble. I, we, that's that's that kind of like inability to get to the bumper. You had to have a real push to break that bubble. He's about to get there though. And this is where you would you'd get to him, and then right here he had to like almost break the momentum Where? and suddenly see they're going to drive away from him. And that's that bubble you're talking about. And it was so hard. You, you ran these two-by-two two lines, even with all the, the bumps, as you'll see that come up more here. The bumps of this, pl this place, you still couldn't, like, get to someone. But it felt more intense than it does now, and I think it had to be the bumps. Gosh, this track was rough. Oh, here we go. Three Look at this wide move. is hairy with the rough. Yeah, watch this. These cars. I remember this so well. Look oh at my this. gosh, he just went Your mid. favorite spot! That is a hell of a move. Incredible. Right there, it's Ricky Rudd in the 88 Snickers car. Bumps him, but what a move in there, trusting Dale Jr. is going to move out of the way. The genius of this move, I'm not sure I would, would have been capable of making this move. The genius of this move is he knew there's a gap in front of the 88. Which, and it nowadays... Up, by, 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 bis, by taking that lane, it moved him up two rows right there. Oh, 100%. I'll bet you he's going to change lanes here again in a minute. I haven't watched this in a long time, but it's like you're seeing it for the first time. I love it. I'm just, so, I'm just trying to see here. I bet to he your point, well, hold on. Angry. Nowadays, he would have been told that by the spotter, but he wasn't told. This was still like the old-fashioned spot. Look how close. Oh, the cars would get so light right there, and you'd see the, the flutter and the, um, well, the cow flap. That's when the car was getting light. You always knew it. <laughs> oh, playing with the throttle. I love that. Just stuck to the bumper here. Here we go. Oh no, Ricky! Oh. Gave in the middle. Oh, we'll see never you later, give up buddy. the middle. <laughs> never no, give can't up. do that. <laughs> so I said he was going to change lanes, but he, what he did was just he just formed the second lane. Like it's. He made it. So so I wonder if uh, he continues to advance through the middle here. That's Jamie McMurray in front of him. I think Sadler probably down on the left in the 19. Jamie's low-key one of the best speedway racers of this generation, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. He was incredible. Incredible. He'd go on to win Daytona later this year in this Jamie really McMurray is one of my inspirations behind why I love the middle. Oh, gosh, we're going to go around him. Okay. Oh, hey, look at this. Oh, Pop. The outside. Never mind. I'm 07's a everything. teammate. But oh. watch this. Oh, that's a big oh. help. That watch was almost this, like, that was like oh. you could see the future. Oh. <laughs> that should have been a wreck. That should have been a massive wreck. So now Kenseth has tire rub. 
He's got the tire rub. It breaks up the pack a little bit. There's more rubs there. I think we're going to get a caution here, if I remember correctly. I also haven't seen this in a while. So you've got all these cars beat up. You guys are drugged down. Now it's him and Mike Wallace. This, okay, so this is a moment, if you don't know if a caution's coming out, it's like now you're fully tucked in, just mm -hmm. hoping that you can catch up. Oh, there's a caution. There it is. Yeah, there it is. So you know what's funny? What's that? Oh, I love that line. Big go-kart track experience. That's when he had a dirt track, I guess, <laughs> at their house. <laughs> so we have another uh, – how many laps to go? I think it goes to a green-white checker here. Um, I think it goes to a green-white checker. The, the two th parts there that are kind of funny, which is the, the comments there from, from Kevin about – big go-kart experience or whatever because you know the sliding at the wall that sort of thing avoiding people the other thing i think is kind of funny i think they're using two spotters which no one does anymore oh yeah they used to do that at daytona yeah i think they're on the back spotters so one is mike dylan i'm pretty sure i think he's the main one but the other one i, I don't recognize his voice but i think there's two of them which is hilarious because i don't know i don't know the last time someone had two spotters was I mean, you got to think this was almost – this is 16, 17 years of iteration of spotter styling behind where we're at today. Spotters are yeah. way more strategic and active in the actual strategy than they were back then. So we're back to single file. All right, again, Two laps to, to go wall to make sure you don't yep. get snookered on the outside. Green-white checker for the Daytona 500. Oh, oh he timed a perfect push. Perfect. Perfect push. Look at that. Now they can spread down to the bottom. So you go from the outside to protect the outside because you can pass before the line. But then as soon as you cross the line, they go to the bottom to protect the inside. Stay tucked in until you get the momentum. That was always key in these cars. Any move before now, backstretch, wasn't going to go anywhere. Were you just afraid of being the first guy to move? That's, that's always mm -hmm. the risk. Or P7. Get this the, is difficult the message. here because you can't – he's far enough back that – oh, he's the first guy to move. He goes – well, he's heard they formed up up top. Yep. He's got Kenseth with him. In, I love uh, that. Use the hill. Use everything you got. Yeah. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Ted, so, you know, my terminology for that is like leading the shift, the lane shift. So he just yep. needed to lead the lane shift. You got to be able to the, – the best in the business can – can tell when a lane shift is about to happen. So he's a sense huge it. gap to the leaders here. I mean, like, which is generating this big run. And look at what, so when we get to the backstretch here, you're talking about this run. Watch this run. He tries to get blocked, but being last lap, you're never going to lift. So Sadler here, or maybe that's Sadler in the 38. I don't know who's in the There's a weak block. No, that's Gillen. Weak block, but then Kyle Busch here. Oh! Too late. Way late. Too block. late. And now Mark Martin's vulnerable. Duck. Yep. And this is just side draft on each other because he's almost clear of him here. He's, and then but he, Mark, think how it stalls out. It stalls out here. Big stall, but then he does another one. Gets, and then Mark's get the second, the, the third side draft, but couldn't get, couldn't get him. Harvick, it's, Harvick by inches. It's one of the most amazing <laughs> what runs a drive. I've ever seen at a super speedway. Like, best laps put together. You know, last 10 laps at a super speedway, that to me so, is one of the most. Well, incredible you know, one moments. quick thing I want to say is mm -hmm. the inside line protected the inside way more than they do nowadays. They didn't. Oh, yeah. And I, and I kind of feel like a big part of it was because those cars handled so badly mm -hmm. that swinging up the racetrack to block the high line, the high line momentum, was just handling wise a riskier move than nowadays you yeah. wouldn't i think you know what i mean like yeah. to do that in the middle of the corner um or like oh yeah getting into at the end of the front stretch or back stretch that would have been really hard to do and take a big push and have to turn into the corner at the same time because those yeah, cars you were had way on top well, you had handling issues you had the, oh, the yeah. tire wear was immense remember like you see there the one car at one point in that like wiggles up at the top early on in this video and mm -hmm. you know the 17 in him hitting off the corners because there just wasn't grip so i think in the corner for sure i think down the straightaway though i think blocking with the advent of the cot in the years to come became way bigger of a deal than it was well the bumpers line up now 
This yeah, was exactly this was before the bumpers lined up. So a block, you know, in a big bump draft could actually, you know, turn you around. Where nowadays a big block and a big bump is just a square bump. So yep. cool. That was fun. Yep. That was awesome. Uh, if you liked this, let us know. Subscribe, like the video, and then let us know in the comments other races, other onboards. It doesn't have to be NASCAR. It can be any motorsport out there that you'd like us to watch, have the same reaction to, point some things out. Uh, we want to do these all the time. So this was fun. We also need a name for it. Let us know if you have a really clever name that doesn't involve open mic, mic check. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some of the working ideas. Suck that mic. I, I, Those are the worst like. ones. Anyway, uh, this was a lot of fun. We'll do another one soon. Peace.